Hi, this is the HP Smart Tank 5107, the so far cheapest printer in HP's Smart Tank series of printers. Should you get one? Let's find out. First, the thing with the Smart Tank printers is, of course, the step to using ink bottles that you refill straight into the little tanks in the printer instead of buying whole new cartridges. And cost wise, it's a concept that is difficult to critique that much. The printer comes with enough ink for about 6,000 black and white and color prints respectively, with around 5% coverage, something that even that is just great. Add to this that the price of each color ink bottle refill is just $15.99 US dollars and the black one is $17.99 and the cost per printed page drops dramatically compared to both basically every normal ink cartridge printer as well as even some laser printers. So you also have to replace the printer heads that of course come included with the printer after a few years but these two are only about $20 each. So cost wise it's definitely a win. Also refilling the ink is super easy and even though it was my first time doing this I spilled nothing which is absolutely brilliant. So what about the print quality? To be fair and considering the price of the 5107 being around 210 pounds or a little below 300 US dollars it's surprisingly good. It's not perfect and I wouldn't recommend the printer if you're looking for high res photo prints but as a home printer for both text and images it works really really well. It prints fairly fast with about 12 pages for black and white and 5 pages per minute for color depending on the quality setting. The scanner and copy function also performs pretty well for normal home usage. Sure if you look really close there are some hints of lines especially when scanning photos but it's nothing extreme and overall the 5107 as a home copy or scanning machine is not a horrible experience at all. Build quality is well it's a printer so it's plasticky and I'd say it's in the middle range. It's not amazing but I've definitely experienced more cheap feeling printers. One thing though is that with both the paper in and out storage compartments extended the footprint of the 5107 is a bit large for what you'd expect from an ink printer. The HP Smart App that is necessary to set up the printer works fine but it's sometimes a little sluggish. The printer also dropped its Wi-Fi connection one time during my testing but it was easily solved with a power off and on. So to just quickly sum it up if you are on the lookout for a new home printer for printing both text and a few color and photo prints here and there the HP Smart Tank 5107 isn't actually that bad of a choice. Sure the software lacks a bit of snap and the overall reliability is just okay. However the unusually low cost per print and the fact that the prints are actually pretty good makes up for this a fair bit. And that is my take on the HP Smart Tank 5107. Please share any questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye!